Welcome to the Crimham podcast. I'm Crimson. I'm Hammy. And we're walking through the woods at the minute, just looking for a spot to, um, well, sit down and camp. Tell some spooky yeah. stories on a fireplace. But lost on the way over, so we're taking a bit more time than expected. Yeah, there was two signs. One said campfire zone. The other said maybe campfire zone. So we thought we take the maybe campfire zone. There was a sign on the floor, but I only gave it a quick glance. I didn't really read it much. Something it, about it, it, a generic horror film murder zone. It yeah. seemed to be on the floor in the mud, so I just assumed it. Must I have don't been know. unimportant to the plot of our adventure. Yeah. Must have been. Uh, yeah, anyway, this is episode six. We thought we'd do something spooky, so, you know, we're just, yeah, we're looking for a plot of land to sit down. Actually, I think I see a camp spot over there, actually. Uh, that's not, like the camp, camping, so. Must be fine. Ah. I think it's fine, honestly. Yeah. There's there's no lights I mean, there, there's no one there, but I can see, like, a campfire pit. Uh, well, the camp's already lit, and there's already empty tents. Yeah, and there's weird jam stains all over the place. I think that's ketchup. Oh, ketchup, yeah. Sorry, it looked like jam in the light. Um, I guess we'll just use this fire then, because no one's using it now, and we can <clears> just sleep in these tents tonight. Got the marshmallows? Yeah, and the um, almond walnuts. Uh, cool, you can have them. Yeah, I, I, I've never heard of them before, I didn't know they were a thing, but I brought them with me anyway, in this bag. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll just sit on this log, I suppose. It's a bit damp, but it'll do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one's covered in ketchup and jam, but I'll just sit on it anyway. Oh, a treat. Um, yeah. Almost looks like clotted blood, but it's probably just the bits in the jam. And It's, it's yeah. probably the people who were here last. They uh, they left everything. They did. Cleaning yeah. their clothes. Oh, that's good, because I, I don't have any. Oh, no, I, I, I thought you looked clothes. different. Yeah, but yeah. was your haircut? Well, I have had a haircut, but it's um gone wrong. So I'm wearing a um, balaclava. Ah. Uh, yeah. Didn't notice. No, neither did I too. I looked in the mirror before I left. I was like, oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, mm-hmm. we're going to tell some spooky stories for you all at home today for no apparent reason. There's no event or yeah. anything going on. We just thought... No. It's, it's just... to tie us over until Christmas, I assume. Yeah, we were like, oh, Christmas. What comes before Christmas? Easter. <laughs> um, mm, Thanksgiving. Well, got, yeah, I don't know. I've got a question for you. Absolutely. Well, this is the scariest thing of all. Oh, okay. How's your work? Is there any spooky stories at work? Well, you see, there's... When I'm at work... I work in a cafe, by the way, for you people at home. When I'm at work... You see, I'm just talking with all the staff members there, and all of these sudden, these scary creatures start barging in. Oh. Like, they just come in, and they start filling up the tables, and... God, it's quite scary, actually, now that I think about it. I don't like to talk about it, to be honest, but um, they they get really angry and grumpy, and they start paying us money and sitting down. Um, Last part doesn't sound scary. No, 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 but if the money doesn't go towards us, it goes towards (gasps) our higher-ups. We have to slave away with coffee machines, and it's busy. And the people, they come in and they say, Oh, I can't believe it's busy in here. It's like, I know. I, I can't believe it either. You're part of the problem, you know? I always say that to them. Yeah, no. My boss says stuff to me. Like, we had two complaints this week. I had one on Monday. The woman said, oh, it's so busy in here. I was like, yeah. Um, yeah, I know. Trust me, I don't like it either, to be honest. Um, yeah, she she was complaining that it was busy. I was like, yeah, okay. Um, you're part of the problem. And then we had people <laughs> in yesterday, um... Coming and seeing that it was busy, seeing that we had lots of tickets to do, sitting down and saying, oh, I've been waiting so long, it's like you're busy or something. It's like, <laughs> yes. Oh. Who would have thought? Oh, it's just horrible. It's really annoying. Past two weeks, customers have just been at their worst for me, I think. It's so grumpy. And it's mostly just elderly people moving in packs, like packs of the undead coming in. Moving hordes. That's, yeah. that's all we can say. Actually, in the town I'm in, uh, the few times I've like, because there's like a nice bench I like to sit on sometimes next to a river, and there'll be a massive horde of these elderly people just walking, like in a massive group of like at least 20. And it's happened at least three <laughs> times now. 
And I'm like, what the hell? Is this some sort of cult? <laughs> well, we have that. Um, in my work, every, every now and again, the doors are open. And it's like, you know that scene in Monsters, Inc., where all the monsters are coming through the, like, the, the door? Yeah. And they're all like, standing in a line walking... They do that. They basically just walk in a line, <laughs> thinking uh, like probably with epic music going on in their head, and then they all <laughs> gather around the newspaper stand. Um, sometimes they go, "Your newspaper? Where is that one?" And you're like, "It's either the one next to you or the one you're holding, <laughs> or we don't have it." <laughs> Where's this newspaper that I'm holding in my hand? Where is it? <laughs> it's happened a few times, or you know, the times like, "Oh, I didn't mean to buy." That newspaper. Okay. What newspaper did you mean to buy? Oh, I didn't mean to buy one at all. What? Okay. Uh, what, what do you want me to do about that? I didn't mean to buy that. What? <laughs> How? Yeah, I've had that a few times. Someone would just come in. Like, the only time I would accept that if they bought loads of stuff and there was no newspaper in there. But sometimes it's like, like I bought eggs and a newspaper. I only meant to buy the eggs. Like, okay. Well, you can't refund someone for their stupidity. <laughs> Fortunately, we can. Ah, can you refund me? Like, it's, newspapers cost like pennies, anyway. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah. Just deal with it. Read it. Come on, make use of it. Look to page eight. There's probably a naked lady on there. Don't think they do that anymore. Ah, it's been a long time. Other than that, I haven't had any spooky stories at work. Not, so I've been on holiday for a week. No, not at work. I mean, you've. I mean, you, I think you have said it on the podcast before, where you saw someone walk in, but there's no one in the store or something. Oh yeah. Um. I was referring to bad customers, but yeah, that as well. <laughs> Where I've had customers fork in and they've never left, but they're just not in the store. Yeah. Uh, there's always a part where I'm, I always see someone, always in the same spot. I'm always like, there's someone over there. Look, no one's there. Mm. Um, the co op ghost. One of them was I was in the staff room just eating my whatever the food that I was at the break. Yeah. And someone leaves the toilet. I'm like, that's, that's impossible because I'm sitting in the room. The only other staff member is on the tills, which I could see on the CCTV camera uh, feed. Yeah. So who the hell just walked out of the bathroom? <laughs> Maybe there's like and, a like janitor in your store you don't know about, and he's well, dead. To be, f- <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, last time, so our current janitors are firm, with like, they, they're going through some stuff, so they're not in as much, so they hired an external manager. Yeah. Last time he was in, well, last time I was there, which was the last time he was in that I saw, he came in at 8 o'clock in the evening. I'm like, why did they send you in now? And he was like, I don't know. <laughs> they just told me to come in now. I was like, okay. Jolly fella, though. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's just doing what he's told. <laughs> um, and I think the weirdest spooky thing at work was we had a, a co-worker called Sandra. Yeah. And she walks up to the end of the shop. I'm like, okay, she's at the end of the shop. I look out the window and I swear I see her walk past the door from the, you know, to enter, exit and enter the building. Mm. See her walk past. I'm like, what's she doing out there? Turn around and she's walking back from the top of the shop. What? I'm like, um, oh, spooky going Okay. <laughs> and she's like, oh, hello, Kyle. How are you? I'm like, um, what? <laughs> I, don't, I, didn't. I don't think I've ever had a spooky encounter at work. There is sometimes when I have to take like the food up that's on our trolley back up to the restaurant to put in their walk-in fridge, and everyone's mm. gone, so all the lights are off, and I have to go in the kitchen, and it's just complete darkness. Sometimes I'm like, oh, "Shit, get out of here!" I never, uh, you know, I never, nothing ever happens, but I'm always like, Ugh, "I don't like it in it." <laughs> that does sound quite uncomfortable. Yeah, it's just an empty, dark <laughs> kitchen, abandoned, and I'm like, "Ooh." I kind of had that with um. When I used to work at Asda's, my last shift there, there was like, I think it was like a skeleton crew type thing. So it was basically like the minimum amount of people yeah, working yeah, there. Yeah, needed, yeah. And it was just like, we well, have a delivery at the loading bay. I was like, okay, go in there and there's like next to nothing in there. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's kind of creepy. And they'd be like, oh, could you put this to that aisle? Go over there, all the lights just haven't turned on. Oh, God. One of them, oh, you go into the bakery closet. Okay, go into the bakery, go into the closet, and I don't know, it just felt like every serial killer's wet dream in there. (laughs) Something's gonna happen, and it's gonna happen to me. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) What was that noise? Owl? That was weird. Uh, It's probably an owl. Yeah, it must have been. I mean, they don't 
go to this part of the woods, sir. No, they don't. What? This is the no That's owl really zone because there's a sign right there. Oh, it's hmm. fine. It's nothing. It's nothing. That sign's oh. covered in jam. <laughs> oh, what's the ketchup? Heard it again, then. Nah, it's fine. Nothing. Uh, uh, I was going for your direction. I can't really hear it as well. Oh yes, yes, yeah, in my direction. Yeah. It's in that part where the trees are more dead than usual around that area. Oh yeah, they're really hollow and there's no leaves on them. Mm. It's like autumn. Weird. I love autumn. <sighs> Same favorite favorite season of them all. Um, oh, I should probably put I, pr I should probably put those cloves on that have been left here. I'm getting a bit cold actually. So um, I'll, I'll just put those on. Won't be a second. I would say you can wash them with the river water because they're a bit stained, but the river water also looks stained. Oh, it's fine. Actually, yeah, these fit perfectly. Oh, yeah, you've got your name on it already. Fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Covered these in... Look ex it's written in jam. These oh, look that's... exactly like our tents. Yeah. Strange. This is fine. Um, I mean, I, I mean, in real life, I haven't... I don't think I've had many spooky encounters. I, uh, I had it once where I was moving into the room I'm in now from my old room, which is now a spare <laughs> room. Um, and I was putting up my bookshelf, and I was facing away from it towards the other wall. And, like, the books were all on there straight and fine and everything. And then, all of a sudden, one of them flings past my shoulder as if it got chucked. And <laughs> ever since, that's the only thing I've not been able to explain, because no one was in the room with me. It's a small enough room I'd notice. Um, but yeah, the books were all just on the bookshelf, and one just flew past my shoulder at like quite a fast speed and just landed on my bed. Um, yeah, that's quite weird. What book was it? I, oh, I don't know what book it was now. But yeah, that's hmm. the only thing I think I've never been able to just be like, okay, that could have been something else. Could have been that. No, because it couldn't have been. <laughs> so that's yeah, the only I thing know. I've ever thought, okay, that's weird. I mean, I've had that with books before. Only yeah. once or twice, I suppose. Uh, I've only had two hauntings, it's not that bad now. Uh, <laughs> I think the weirdest thing I've had was, um, and it's actually, it has affected me ever since then, because I never now sleep facing the door. Yeah. And I think I've told you about this before, maybe. But the, the lights were off in my room. Hmm. And my bedroom door was open, because I think my brother went downstairs to talk to the rest of the family. Yeah. So the light from the hallway was shining through. And I'm just like... Looking out in the doorway, just waiting for like, you know, come on, shut the, sh shut the bloody door and all that. And a shadow of a person goes past the door. Yeah. But no, no one actually walks through. Oh. And ever since then, I've had, I've just not slept facing the doorway. So I just like, I always got a thing every time I'm looking through the door. I'm like, it's gonna happen again. I used to. And it's yeah. not happened since. But I haven't done I just, that for a while, but yeah, I used to have the same thing. Where I was like, I wouldn't face a certain direction when I was sleeping, like I. Yeah, I wouldn't face... I mean, my bed's in a different position now, but I wouldn't mm. face my door, like, side of the room. Yeah. Because I, so I would, like, face the wall instead. Because, uh, yeah, I. but now I, it doesn't bother me. I can just sleep in any direction at the minute, it seems. But, yeah, I used I've... to not be able to face a certain direction. I just wouldn't sleep. I was thinking, cause, um, there was this thing that people said where, like, if you're scared in like a thing, they would always face. You know, scared while sleeping, they will always face the wall. Yeah. So they couldn't have to see the ghost. Yeah, yeah. Or something. But my logic was, I'd always sleep facing away from the wall. So if I did see the ghost mm. or something, I could, I would know to leave. Yeah, yeah. And like, I was wondering, like, if anyone else wants to write in or write in, email in or something. Um, I, what's your stance on that? Because apparently, I'm the only one who would have not faced Had the that wall. Logic. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess it's just like, to say, luck away, just, like, it's not there, it's not real. I don't know, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, I used to be like, I used to be so paranoid of ghosts as a kid. I mean, I used to be terrified of being upstairs by myself. Like, mm. I never used to come upstairs by myself when I was younger. Yeah. And, like, sometimes, like, I remember once my dad was watching, like, a, I've, it, it was probably a fake video, but it was one of those ghost videos on YouTube where they'd be filming in their house and see a little girl or something, but... Clearly it's fake, just well edited. But yeah. I remember my dad was watching one of those, and I watched it with him, and then, oh, God, I was just terrified the whole night. Like, <laughs> oh, I was I was looking around, like, so paranoid. And, like, I could hear noises, and I was like, oh, my God, no, 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 no. So I, I just ran downstairs to my parents, like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've done stuff like that. Um, I was going to say something. I remember, like, 
I've always actually wanted to make a ghost film thing and a parody ghost film. I'd love to do like um, a ghost hunt or like a spooky walk thing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we could do that want, sometime. I would want to at some point. I just have to, yeah, get the right stuff to do it with. Hmm. Like record with. Just nighttime camera. Yeah, night vision, Be night camera. Good light as well. Yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, I walked I never... up the woods during the night with my friend. We got quite far, but like. You couldn't see it on the video. I had my like flashlight on on my phone, but that was it. But you couldn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just a random thought popped into my head. Mm. I thought a memory, but I think I bought this book of ghost stories. Yeah, but some of them were pretty scary. One of them was they they always say they're based on a true story. Of course. Um, <laughs> one of them actually had, had I won't say evidence, but it had many eyewitness accounts. Uh, but I won't talk about that one. I'll talk about the really rubbish one. Um, <laughs> because it was like I can't remember what it was, but like someone went off on a no, I can't remember. It was like over a holiday or I don't know. There was a soldier and they went off somewhere, and they were basically never they weren't seen again for a while. And then they were found dead, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then this part of the ghost story says, uh, from best of my memory, it was like, oh yeah, I was walking down, I was walking down the road, and then I saw my uh, friend. Uh, let's just call him Sean for now. Uh, Sean, Sean, turn around. Yes. I don't know. Just turn around the corner. I was like, "Oh, hi, Sean!" And as soon as I, he said that, he started running. After I ran with him, we met a dead end, and he was gone. And the next line always makes me laugh because it was like, "Then I remembered he died six months ago." It's like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I just remembered. Oh yeah, of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> Although talking about that, like running, and then he's gone. Um, yeah. Is that, this is a spooky story, but not from me. It's from my dad. I might have told you it before. I probably have at some point. Um, but he was driving. This is when he was younger. He was driving back from his old girlfriend's house. It was a really foggy <laughs> night, and he had to have obviously like the headlights on quite bright. Um, and then yeah. he, he saw a car in front of him, and obviously he couldn't really see because he was driving through lanes, and he couldn't really see anything in front of him. So he just followed this car that he saw in front of him. He was just driving behind the car just to like follow. You know, try and find the way out or where he's going. Um, yeah. So he kept following it, and everything was fine. And then all of a sudden, and it was really foggy. All of a sudden, he just like the car like turned and went into somewhere you can't turn to, like it was just a hedge. And he like looked and was like, "What? Where did you know? Where did where did it go?" <laughs> um, wow. But yeah, it was just a dead end. You couldn't go anywhere. He, but where he turned was just a hedge, like completely blocked off. <laughs> so my dad was like terrified so he just like I think he just probably drove in any direction really fast just to get out of <laughs> the place <laughs> yeah I think he was a bit freaked out especially during the night just in a foggy lane so, yeah <laughs> I, I, my dad doesn't really believe in ghost stuff no I all. mean it's uh, you know you can't prove it it's just well when he was in the army he said they were doing like a routine patrol thing and they were walking through a field yeah, and this was in this was in Ireland back in I forgot what it was called, but when there were like terrorists, the threats in Ireland, uh, it was like England versus Ireland type thing. Yeah, can't remember the exact thing. And he was walking through a field, patrolling, and someone goes, "There's a sofa in the middle of the field." Hmm? Okay. <laughs> There's a sofa in the middle of the field. Yeah. They're okay. And this was pitch black, so they yeah, they had basic night vision, but they, so I think it was all like uh, equipment to see, and they're like, "Well." Now this doesn't look like a sofa, it just looks like a weird black fuzz. Okay. So they walk up to it, and then basically, going to them about, about as fast as like a car, it just zooms through the field away from them. What the fuck? And they're like, <laughs> nothing like that would exist in Ireland. That's so weird. Like, uh, oh, that's the only time he's in, just. Like, fields, isn't it? Like in... that's, yeah, that's the only time he's like, okay. I don't. I still don't believe. But if there's anything, I can't no. explain it to that because it had, that, isn't it, it? we thought it was a f sofa, but then it was just this black hazy fuzz. Yeah, you can't really have, describe it. Always have to have that. You need that visual. If you, if you, mm. you know experiences like that, you've, to believe stuff, you've got to see it, and then yeah. then you can go to yourself. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Maybe there is <laughs> yeah. something going on. Yeah, no, uh, it's, it's until you see something like that happen in front of you that you can't explain, it's like, you don't know, but when you see something like that, it's kind of... Another thing I, I can't explain is, I remember I was, walk, I was walking through the woods once on the way home, yeah. and there was uh, music playing deep in the woods, like right now. 
yeah, uh, yeah. over that way. But okay, this also actually happened. It was after Goshen when we went to Goshen together. Yeah, um, Goshen's a college we went to. Unfortunately, yes, that was quite <laughs> scary. Yeah, yeah, it was just music playing deep into the woods. I was like, I don't like that. <laughs> mm. And ice cream music was just playing in the middle of the night because oh, I woke God. up and I was like, the hell is playing ice cream music? It was, it was coming from the outside window. The I was fuck? like, outside, all windows lead outside, what do I mean? Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that I still don't know. No. <laughs> oh, I mean, to be fair, I live right next to like a like old paper mill factory. And it's, it's completely abandoned now, like, um, it shut down years and years ago. That's like a start of a horror film, or a ghost story. <laughs> it's like, oh god, it does look quite horrible, like, it's literally right next to my house on the road. Um, but I, I think some people have died in there. Actually, no, yeah, I know okay. someone's died in there. Someone I went to school with, their dad used to work there, and uh, the machinery, he like, I don't know, I think it was, got his arm stuck or something, in one of the machinery. And, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I reckon there must be something... Well, if there is ghosts, I reckon that place would be haunted because it's just abandoned, probably really unsafe, and... Um... Oh, let's go there. Yeah. <laughs> it's creepy, <laughs> yeah, it's it's creepy. I mean, I don't really think about it, but yeah, it is r literally right next to my house, so... <laughs> um, i trying to say, I, I, honestly, I don't think there's much else that, you know, where I'm like... That I've seen, that I'm like, okay, okay, I that must be something supernatural because like most of it's probably just me being young and paranoid and just being like, oh god, yeah, that must be a ghost or something. I know when I was younger, mm. before I could really m memorize anything. Yeah. According yeah. to my parents, they were, um, is they're the only people, my parents and I guess my brothers, brothers and sisters, I only have their word to go on it. Okay. Um, and I doubt all of them are playing a universal prank on me. To be yeah, fair, yeah. that'd be a bit weird. <laughs> My brothers may play a universal prank on me, but I don't think everyone would be on it. Yeah, no. But they, they would always go, well, they would always say, oh, yeah, do you remember the farmer? Like, who the hell is the farmer? <laughs> well, when you were younger, you'd always just burst out into tears, pointing at a corner and go, the farmer. Or, oh, oh, I was talking to the farmer. And I'm like, <laughs> what are you guys horrible. on about? It's like, what are you guys on about? And they'll go, you don't remember the farmer? I was like, are you delusional? Um, again, <laughs> the only farmer. their word to go on it. <laughs> it's but... the farmer. <laughs> Start crying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Um, yeah, according to that, I, it was like, I wouldn't say daily, but it was like every now and again, it would be like, oh, he's going off, talking about the farmer again, pointing in a corner, I mean, or talking to no one. I'm like, I don't recall. They do say it's like, you know, when you're younger, you see this hmm. stuff more because you've got a more like, I don't know, Whatever brain. <laughs> yeah, like uh, imagine the creative mind. I don't know, but when you're younger, you're more you, you see stuff like that. I don't know, but when you grow older, you just stop seeing it. Maybe it's because you're okay. f more fresh into life, and you <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the afterlife is still fresh from when you were resurrected and yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, reincarnated as ham. Yeah. Of course. Uh, yeah. Um, oh god, what's that? On your... Oh god. Sorry, I thought someone was touching your shoulder then. That looked weird. Um, that like a hand. No, but it feels warm compared to the rest of the windy day, night. Embrace it. Maybe it's a um, hug. Yeah. Yeah, it's a just, hug. Can you, just, yeah. can you just lean over quickly? Oh, yeah. So I thought, thought I saw someone in the bushes. No. Um, Same no, direction I think as that's a cardboard cutout of a, someone in the bushes. That's a, got it. Cardboard cutout um, Sam Smith. Oh, oh my god, it is. What's why he is, doing there? Why isn't it the real Sam Smith? That's weird. Uh, I did invite him. He left oh. a note. Yeah. Um, and it said, don't go to the woods. Sincerely, was Sam Smith. <laughs> <laughs> so is it just a joke you're playing? I'm laughing, I'm crying, because it's scaring me. Oh, oh ghosts don't weird. exist. Uh, no. That's if they fine. did, I would be seeing them like I, you know. But I see you perfectly fine. I see that guy over there in the bushes. Hmm? Oh, no, nothing. Can't be. Um, what's that noise again? I swear it's getting closer. Are you sure it's not your phone? No. No, my phone mysteriously died as I entered this woods anyway. That's weird. Mine um, had full power when it when I walked in. It was dead when I was out of the woods. Are you sure we just didn't swap phones? Yeah, I have the Pixel Google 
phone. Oh, I have a the brick phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my phone, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's not my Surely background. Surely not. Though. Weird. Mm. Um. Me either. Hmm. Anyway, uh, have yeah. you had? I... <sighs> you go first. No, you, no. After you. I was gonna say, have you heard any good ghost stories? Um. God. Uh. God, yes. God, yeah. That's the biggest ghost story of them all. Um, <laughs> I could go on about that for hours, but I won't. Not Other people can, do. Not really that I can remember. I mean, I had this... When I was at my grandparents' house, um, my dad's parents, we used to go out there every Sunday to visit. It was quite an old, creepy house anyway, so it was like, ooh, like you know, old-fashioned. Um, I had this dream um, about it once that I was there, and for some reason I was just really thin <laughs> in the dream. I was like a stick, thin figure, and I was just zooming across the living room, <laughs> flying around the living room. I know it's not really scary, but it just came into my head for some reason, and it just made me feel really weird when I woke up from it. But I was just, I could just fly around the living room. Felt really weird, the motion of it. <laughs> um, I had this nightmare once, uh, when, yeah, I was in like a maze. I think it was like the maze from Harry Potter. Goblet of Fire. My boy! Um, <laughs> My boy! Yeah. I, I, was, I think I was being chased by a Minotaur. Oh, I think it's you like told me about that one ages ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it could like cut through the bushes by just ramming them, So, and I had to like run around the maze like a normal person. Yeah, I remember something like that. I'm I know. A spooky dream. Well, I, know, I, I know I've had some really fucking horrible ones. Just can't remember them right now. I know I've had horrible ones, but I have this thing. It doesn't happen much. Yeah. Where I, the dream isn't bad, but I wake up in a panic. Hmm. Oh my it god. It does, doesn't happen much. Oh, I I had a dream last night. Okay, I need to remember it while it's fresh in my head. I know it was, it was really weird to begin with. I know that. Like it was really strange. I think we were, I was on a school trip with I I know people I don't really know. Um, I think it's people I've seen before, but they're, like, not really, I don't know. But I was on a school trip with someone, these people, but for some reason the school was like a giant base sort of thing. And we drove, the bus driver drove us to like, I don't know, this random place we were visiting. But for some reason I didn't get off the bus, so he just drove me back, and he was acting really sinister. So he, yeah, he was driving me back to the base. Then all of a sudden, like, there's... At this base, there's like silverback gorillas guarding the exits. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then skip. A, I can't remember most of the middle of the dream. Skip ahead to the end. There's like this giant tentacle black monster made out of just weird void energy by the looks of it, and we were just fighting against it. We've, no. I think we all had different unique powers or something. I think I had a jetpack and a flamethrower, but it's really odd. And then, I don't know if this is the same dream or another dream, because, I don't know, it was all mixed into one. I remember it was just really innocent and normal. I think I was just with... I don't know who I was with again, but I think they were friends. And all of a sudden, one of my friends got out a knife and started trying to kill us all, really viciously. Oh. Like, it was really that's... innocent and normal, and then all of a sudden it turned into sort of like a nightmare with that thing, and I was like, oh. I know some dreams do that, like, they start off normal, then... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you think it's just like a normal dream and then it turns into a nightmare. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? I actually just remembered another scary thing that happened. Yeah. So I was in the... It was like... Probably more than 10 years ago now. I can't remember all it was exactly. What year it was. Yeah. But I was in the toilet. Um, go and pee. ba da ba da Light Bathroom lights on. It was night time. But I turned the bathroom light on because I, I, life of me couldn't see a thing. Yeah. Uh, I go to wash my hands. Mm -hmm. In the corner of my eye, there's a hand on the banister. I'm like, okay, someone's waiting outside. The, the hand's just on the banister. Yeah. Uh, go next to the, the taps where the well, the sink, where the power is to wash, dry your hands. Yep. Still a hand there. Okay. Walk <laughs> out. No one's there. Maybe <laughs> maybe, maybe you see dead people. Um, Maybe. I mean, I, like I the thought farmer. it... Maybe, yeah. I mean... I don't know. I still remember the image of the hand in my head for some reason. Mm. It's like the one um, over there on the floor. Uh, but, no. yeah, maybe I still see dead people. <laughs> that's, no. Mm? That's just a... Um, not a hand. Are you sure? It looks like it has your tattoos on it. Yeah. Where, I, where's my hand? Oh, no, there it is. Just in my sleeve. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's, that's my tattoos on the hand on the floor. 
tell us we see our tents. I mean, clothes that Jam. I had. Yeah, clothes. Um, yeah, these are my clothes that were just on the floor randomly, and I was naked, and my my hands on the floor. But I've still got that hmm. hand on me right now. Oh, coincidence. Okay. Just coincidence. It's fine. It happens. Nothing. Wait, is yeah. that? No, no, sorry. Um, <laughs> is that a tree? Yeah. Wait, yeah. Uh, must in the woods. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, thank God for that. I thought we'd just been swarmed by trees, consumed <laughs> by our fate. Oh, consumed by irreality. 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 <laughs> The word I, I can't say right I now. Remember, there was uh, my friend told me because we used to go to the same school, and sometimes he'd come to my house after he'd finished, like after whatever. Um, but yeah. like, I remember he because on my back door, it's sort of like one. It's like a glass, but like you can't see through the glass. It's got like patterns on it, and it's like you know. I have a door like that, yeah. So well, you can't fully see through the door. Um, but he said mm. I wasn't home at the time, but he said he saw someone in the house through the packed window and he was like all right and then apparently someone said oh you know yeah come in so like he opened the door and came in and no one was there and i was like oh, oh. that's creepy yeah and i was like there was no one in my house apparently i mean this is only, i can only go off what he told me because i was like okay but yeah was um, he known for like joke stuff like that or he was didn't that the really time? ever joke about when it came to creepy stuff when it came okay. to like stuff like that he wouldn't usually joke about that so mm -hmm. Yeah, that, there's that. <laughs> no, hold on. I can see you. Yeah, I'm right here in front of you. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, I <laughs> yeah. got a bit... Wait, move out of the way, move out of the way, move out of the way. Uh, well, i try with all this blood. I mean, jam. Yeah, it's it's you. Are you behind that tree over there? Am I moving? No. Over the tree? No, you look really happy, but dead. Uh, really pale, I mean. Um, doesn't look any different to me now. Ah, uh, okay. Well, it's still a bit weird that you're over there as well as here. Well, the campfire is getting a bit dead. Um, should we set up the tents or just go in the tents we're in already? Go into the set up already. Well, might as well use the ones that are here. It's pointless using these ones. Oh, wait, my tent bag's empty. Mm, mine's got two ten tents in it. That's weird. <laughs> oh, that's a bit strange. Uh, yeah. Oh, golly. Um, yeah. Well, uh, um... Mm. Okay. Did we just go in the one tent? It's a bit. Um, yeah, it's fine. At least then, if anything happens. That we... other one has a giant hole in it, to be fair. Yeah, it looks like a knife has cut through it. Mm. That's, that's still in it, to be fair. That's normal around here. Mm. I hear, apparently. Yeah, uh, normal in England. Yeah, we'll, we'll just get in that tent then. Mm. Anyway, anything else going on you want to talk about? I didn't want to talk about it, really. <sighs> no. Um, well, for the. Obviously, this is a. Uh, we have to talk about this every week. Of course, mm -hmm. it's Doctor Who. Um, oh, yeah. The tradition. Yeah, uh, I mean, we. We? I bought two. Well, I pre ordered two new Doctor Who uh, DVDs. One's the next collection, which is coming out in December, and one's uh, Galaxy 4, which is the first Doctor animated story. Well, it's going to be animated. <laughs> it wasn't originally animated. Animated? <laughs> animated. <laughs> well, speaking of. Uh... Spooky stuff. I know the end of the world episode of Doctor Who. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Eccleston's second episode. That terrified the head out of me as a child. Because I, I, I think I, don't know if I said it on podcast or in I general you before. I said it, yeah. I don't know yeah. what one, though, yeah. Yeah, it terrified the head out of me. I thought it was like happening in. Oh, just something fell in, the, in my room, actually. Um, In ah, the camp room. In you, um, yeah, in the tent we're in. Oh, I think <laughs> yeah. it's the, yeah, the lights falling off. I'll just put it back up. I didn't see the light. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought it was happening in real time, so I was like, oh, God, real what is time. That? I was like, it's all ending. I was really panicking. And then when they did the fell where Rose calls her mum, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> um, my parents were just like, um, you can go to bed just now if you want. It was a live broadcast from a space station, <laughs> and they're just really casually watching. <laughs> And they just um, let it broadcast on TV. <laughs> I don't know, I was probably like, I think I was like eight maybe when that came out. Yeah. So I don't know. And I was a very stupid child anyway. So I don't know. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, stuff like that, you know. You don't think rationally, do you? You just think, oh, yeah, yeah, this is happening on TV. It's real. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got actual new Your Doctor Who tomorrow. Yeah, um, 
we'll definitely talk about that on the next podcast after. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because we're, I mean, we're, we're, we're going to watch, aren't we? Like. Yeah. Well, assuming we get out of these woods unscathed in the morning. Yeah, in the morning. Um, I mean, we're going to be going to sleep now soon anyway, so... Of course, yeah. Yeah. What the... F- oh, I thought there was someone touching the tent, then. I think it's just my imagination. Hmm. Sounds like footsteps outside. But you know what? It's probably a fox. Probably a... Yeah, probably a fox. Ugh. Did, have you any easy feeling? Oh, it's just because the the um, damp in the tent, that's all. Mm. Um, it makes you uneasy when you breathe it in. Just a question, though. Yeah, of course. When did you put out the fire? Oh, I... I... Uh, um, I didn't do it. <clears throat> I mean, you did. No, you did say it was going out, didn't you? I just said it was going out, but yeah. I mean, it was fully lit as we were in the tent, and it just maybe maybe it was the wind. I can I can hear something out there. Uh, I can hear something. I think. Why did we come out here and do this podcast out here? Listen, listen. It'll be fine as soon as we fall asleep. It'll all be fine, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it. Yeah, um, there's a lot of fog coming in the tent for some reason. Don't know how it did that, uh, but um, it stays. <laughs> um, yeah, well, yeah, I'm, you just know. Gonna, I'm just gonna peek out the tent. All right, I, I need to let my mind rest a bit. Just need to clarify. There's nothing. Yeah, out of there. course. Um, just, just come back in when you're tent now. When you're ready. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. just unzipping. Oh my god! Take mm. take a look out there. What is? Oh, what is what is that? What is... <laughs> I'm crying because I'm scared again. Uh, uh, I don't know what that is. It's coming closer though. Um, sorry, I I don't know who you are. <laughs> Can what? you uh, what me? Yeah, sorry. Who are you? Why? <sighs> sorry, what's going on? I don't know. Um, I- I'm gonna check my phone. Oh, it's dead. Um, I I only have this phone that appears to be a Google Pixel. Oh. This is yours? Not originally. Um, I'm sorry, but what is that again? It's two heads? <laughs> one head? Yeah. I'm, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm not laughing, I'm crying. I'm laughing because I'm nervous and I'm crying because I'm scared. Alright, um, I can see someone approaching the tent and it's not Sam Smith's cutout because... Um, that's over there. Yeah, it's in the bush still. Uh. No, it's yeah, standing right next to you. You're over there. I am out there. How am I out there? I'm in here. How can I be out there? Why am I holding a hatchet? Um, what? That's not a hat. We both. Sorry, I can't remember what's going on again. Do you like it? I keep losing my train of focus. And I'm, I'm so nervous. It's just uh, um, making me sweat a bit. Honestly. I, I know. Uh. Why don't we go back in the tent? And it can't see us anymore. Hold on, I'm already in the tent. How can I be in there? Mm, um, <laughs> uh, should we just leave? <laughs> no, uh, it was our idea to go be in the tent. Do you... we stay in the tent, or do we leave the tent? Um, oh my god, I can't think. Uh, I, I think we're everywhere. I think we've entered some weird like cross-dimensional multiversal void zone hold on i'll peek out the tent quickly yeah, yeah. see what i can see yeah. all right okay um let me just unzip it again the fog's gone uh we're the sitting fog. at the we're sitting <laughs> at the campfire the, the, can they, oh, can they d- see us i don't know i'm a bit worried that they can see us oh i dropped I... my severed hand on the floor next to me hmm? uh I don't I'm know why it's gonna... severed, it wasn't just now, it is now. I'm just gonna walk around and see if they can see me. Oh yeah, walk um, by that tree. Near that... Yeah, by the tree. Yeah, good idea. Um, right, I'm, I'm waving. Do you think they can see us? I'm... Oh wait, I can think I can, I can see me looking at you behind you. Uh... I think... Oh, you, you, get back in, get back in. I don't, I don't... Uh, okay, I'm in the... <sighs> Uh, should, should we use right. this? I, I think we should. I've I think got... we should just go home. Uh, I've got a yeah, knife just... here. We can uh, open up the tent with. Yeah, I've got a fully working GPS. Excellent. Why didn't we use that? Uh, excellent. Yeah. Um, right, uh, we'll just escape through this. Yeah, this is um, this. This is a weird 
Bank holiday. It's a weird place. I don't know. I honestly don't know why we came out here. I just this is a bad idea. Yeah, on Christmas Eve of all things. Oh my god, what is that? What's that? Oh my god, no, 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 no. I can't see. Oh, it's Sam Smith. The real Sam Smith. Oh, oh your cardboard carrot's over there. Sam Smith's like, no, wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, Sam Smith can't speak right now. He's got tape over his mouth, but he's probably thinking, I didn't bring a cardboard cutout out here. That wasn't me. But the cardboard cutout cut was glowing. Did do that before, did it? No, no, it definitely didn't do that. And its eyes are like fiercely green and expanding. That's odd. Um, you don't usually see that with cardboard cutouts. What's well, coming towards us? Should we best best get leaving yeah. before it uh, enters our vicinity? Dying's quite bad for you. Yeah, Sam, so keep keep that tape in your mouth. You might start singing or screaming. We don't want to draw attention. Yeah, right, quick, but it's good run. that you bought your awards. Yeah. Oh, wow! Amazing. Show off. Right, quick, er, run. Right, we gotta run. Come on. Uh, run away, run away, run away. Uh, run away. Go. Oh, yeah. it just passed us again. Oh shit. Um. No, we didn't pass that. <laughs> well, I think I stood in some shit back there. It might have been another m me's shit. Uh, I think that was Spectre. Oh fuck. What yeah. are you doing here? <laughs> Fuck it out. Uh, Sam, wait, Sam, put the knife down. Put the knife down. Uh, that was oh, Sam with oh, magic. Oh, 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 oh my god. I can see me again. I can see you. They're closing in. They're closing um, in. Oh god, oh god, uh, oh god. Oh god. Uh, I'm probably going to hit the lane. you been stabbed? Uh, oh god. In the jugular chain on your neck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've been stabbed in the gut. This is a horrible podcast. Look out! I can't. I'm dying. This is a horrible podcast. This is a horrible podcast. This is a horrible podcast. Happy Halloween.